Bare bones bark has enormous stock quality. <coughs> On the web, there's an article that had the audacity to print this. <coughs> but since Mr. Bin Laden is not here, the global war on terror has ended. <coughs> Horse Pucky. Did Mr. Bin Laden have anything to do with the global war using terrorism to scare humans and get attention? Basically, everything he did was just trying to get attention to an issue, more than anything. Any of these people's temper tantrum like a child in the house trying to get attention to an issue that you're not seeing, that the child considers justice and you don't. The child saying you are an unjust idiot when it cries and carries on like that. Mr. Bin Laden, now, it's because the situation he's responding to is here long before he ever was born, be here long after everyone's dead. Oh yeah, it's the possibility of cruelty, period. Especially mauling small groups of people, tribal. Mauling decency, mauling morals, mauling respect, mauling it, targeting humans and violating their more than rights, their feelings, starting with children. <clears throat> Not paying attention to the best interest of people and doing it anyway for marketing reasons. Well, that's been going on a lot longer than flag and border. I'll remind you of that. Very plottingly. I'll remind you of that. Among humans. Dumb. Humans have been terrorized by each other for a long time to cause, let's just say, influence where you can market with it. It creates pockets of dead weight, what it does. And he was a part of it. And didn't know it. Someone in his position cannot speak up for pain. He doesn't understand it. He's born with a silver spoon in his mouth. What the Sam hell would he know about me? Born nothing. Can the absence of pain speak up for pain? Can the, no hurting speak up for hurting? Hell no, they'll blow it. And are they doing it? They always have. And they're more opportunists than anything else. I don't think he was anything yet another opportunist, but I could be wrong. How do I know his heart? I wouldn't state it. More than likely, he had both reasoning mixed up and convoluted in there. In most cases, most do. Especially when they get that personally involved, and here's what they do, they hurt. Dumb. You can't preach hurting. Can't preach it. When hurting comes up to part of your method to making things better for people, you're not the guy. Get out. Your ideas are not, they're not complete. They're not accurate. You haven't backed up enough. Get out. Simple as that. You're not usable. And what has to happen? Get out. What has to happen is the presence of lovely things to the point where hurting doesn't even come into the idea of there's no punishment, there's no hurting, there's no, when you have a temper, temper tantrum, it doesn't have one hurt in it. And you can still have the temper tantrum, no hurt, none. Period. So, listen, legitimate here, tradition has hurt in it. You can't be traditional hurt and fix traditional hurt. Can't do it. And mother will ignore your crying. She is an idiot. Any mother that ever ignores one tear of her child is a moron. Dad, any parenting, any society that ignores one tear is an idiot. Got it? And too many of you have too many reasons to ignore tears of children. Dumb! Oh!
all of it. It starts right there and it ends. You want to know the beginning and end? Tears of children. Gone! Beginning and end. And that's the closest to big end you have to concern yourself with. Right here. Right now. Mm-hmm. For you, the beginning and end is the conception process in your children and the environment they come into. Beginning and end! No more. Don't look any further than that! You get that secured, that beginning and that end, I wouldn't go any farther. Don't need to. You're asking for trouble. So you don't understand. You'll get something else to overplay its hand. Don't do it. It's not like the biggest mistake humans make. A man told me one time he's overplaying their hand. Well, what they do is get something else to overplay its hand. Not playing their hand at all. That's the biggest mistake. Not playing your hand and getting something else to overplay their hand, carrying your ass around. That's the biggest mistake. What do you think? So you got to make sure you're feeding, giving them something to eat, giving them something to use, something to trade. Got to. Use your hands as much as you can. And your mind. Both. Like a journeyman. Craftsman. Mind and hand. Simultaneously. Fervently. Very centipedely. Very doing more than expected. When it gets done, you can see every bit of that doing more than expected. Priceless. 